It's station time. Woohoo! And we are live. We love stations. Stations are the best, but there is one problem with stations, and we know what that is finding things to put into the stations. They need to be educational, engaging, independent, a little teeny tiny bit of prep for the teacher. That can be a problem. Well, today you are going to get three games that uh, have a little bit of a twist to them, a little bit of a tool that you might not be using in your stations, and that is, roll please, using little cups, okay? So three games using little cups in your in the stations. So if you are ready, go ahead and hit that like button and we will get started. If you are here live, put your comments and questions in the live chat. If you're here on the replay, put them in the comments and we will get them answered. The first game. I always have my stations over in my little shelving thing there. The first game with the cups, super simple. You can even just put a little note like this in the station and you, and your students will know what to do, right? And this is a simple matching game. So on each cup, we have the letters, right? And we're just gonna set up the matching game inside this little shelving unit here. And I see my friend Don here. Hi, Don. Don's music is amazing. In fact, you're going to hear a little bit of it at the end of this live stream. She has been with me since day one. So to play this, super simple, they just lay it out like that and then they flip it over and they need to find a match. When they find a match, then they um, collect it and go for it again. When they're done, oh, I got a cue and a, oh, once you know it, <laughs> a cue. They collect it and then they put it back. When they're done and they've collected all of their cups, they could even go ahead and put these into alphabetical order, right? Them and their partner say, okay, well, now we have all the cups. Let's go ahead and take a look. What comes first, B or H? B comes first, then, and they can match up the capitals with the lowercase, okay, uppercase with lowercase. So there's really two games right there. It's a matching game and a put um, match lowercase to uppercase, and then also alphabetical order, okay? First game. The last game, the third game, I have a little freebie for you, so make sure you stick around for that one. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second game. Stick this back in, super easy to keep it all organized. And this one has a few um, different variations, okay? So if you like these kind of games, will you go ahead and make sure you subscribe because when you subscribe you get, and you hit that little notification bell, you will get notified for when I go live, all right? And you don't wanna miss any of these at all. <laughs> I hate freebies, said no teacher ever, no. So this game I call toss and write. So they take their cups, and they set them up like this. Then you have a little paper clip, okay? And they toss, kind of like um, a carnival game where you toss the ball into the little bucket. Well, same kind of idea, except this time, okay, so I tossed, I got into that cup, I turn it over, I get an E, 
The first variation is probably for your kindergarten students. They have a partner during stations and they say words that begin with an E. All right. So their, their partner times them. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. And their partner can tally. Maybe um, you have a piece of paper with a page protector on it and a dry erase marker. They tally how many words they can figure out in 30 seconds that begin with an E. Okay. And then their partner goes and their partner toss finds a G and they do the same thing. Okay. Second variation. So that's really going to be a second game is for some, um, I would say this is probably for more end of kindergarten, first grade. Okay. This is a little more difficult. And this one is they're going to write the words. Okay. So they have a, um, page protector over a, I, I like nice bright colors, right? Um, over this, and then they go ahead and they write any word they can think of with a G in it. It doesn't have to be necessarily at the beginning, but it can be any G, any word with G in it. So hug. So they write, would write hug. All right. And they would write as many words as they can think of with G in it as they can. A third variation would be to do the initial sound. So, um, God, G O D, capital G <laughs> O D. All right. Uh, goat G O A T. So they just brainstorm and they write as many as they can in 30 seconds. Then their partner goes and so forth. Okay. Super simple, easy prep. How many times can your students do this game? A lot. Like I would not just play this game one week and then put it away for another year. No way. I would play this game over and over and over because this is something that the more they do, the more, the better they get, right? Um, if you have different letters that you want them to use, put that in. So once you teach them this, maybe at like a morning message time, then they have it, right? They know how to play it and play it week after week after week. I, I could see playing this three, four weeks in a row. And because it's a tossing game, come on, they are going to love it. Last one. And this is the one with the freebie. This freebie is down below. Don't let it go. All right. It is down below. Click the link, sign up, send it right to your inbox. This comes complete with the um, directions and the printables. Now this has two different levels. The first level is three Doo -doo. cups and the next level is four cups okay so it comes with both of them so if you have a student who needs a little extra challenge give them four cups all right so let's find out how this one works now this is a really good one to take out <laughs> of the little bucket there and for this, it's super simple. You just need your cups, okay? And the students actually need to see the cups this time because they are going to use them as a manipulative to build words and replace letters to make new words. So we're always, um, one of the skills they need to know is how to replace one sound in a letter to make a, a new one, right? So let's do, um, so they take it and let's say, okay, I want to build the word hat. So they, and do you notice this to that, like a, a little um, tadpole 
to a frog, right? A this to that. It's a transformation of sorts. So they do hat, and then they have to decide, hmm, what letter can I swap out to make a new word? It has to be a real word. It cannot be a pretend word. So maybe they want to say an M. Let's see if that works. Matt, it does. So I'm swapping out the H for an M and I get a new word. All right, now I'm going to swap out another letter and let's say they do this. No, nope, that does not work. All right, so they can use these cups to kind of see what's going on. No, that doesn't work. Math, that doesn't work. Let's see, how about mad? Yes, so I'm swapping out the T, right, for a D. And I rewrite my word down here. Are you getting the pattern? Simple, they just keep writing and writing and writing until they're done. Now, for stations, you can do this either for um, in, each student gets a printable or maybe one student does one word and the next student does the other word. Don says mad, exactly. So you swip swap, swip swap out. And then you have to make a real word, okay? How often can they play this game? Uh, a lot, <laughs> for sure, right? They could play this for two, three weeks. Um, swap out some letters if they already know their their M's and their A's, the vowels. Maybe you want them working on words that have U in them, okay? So depending on their skill, and again, if you have some smarties, give them the, the printable that has the four cups, just a little bit of an extra challenge for them. All right, so now is a great time for any questions so that um, I can get them answered. One question that I hear sometimes is how often do I switch out the materials? And I think that I have kind of went over this. You do not have to, and please don't, swap out the materials every every week. That is going to be a huge burden on you, okay? These kids can do it over and over and over and over. The more they do it, the better they get. And when you get a free printable like this, that is so, um, they can use it again and again. This is the kind of stuff that you want to do, right? You want that in your stations. So, that is a question that I get asked a lot. Another question I get asked a lot is, what are you doing for the next live stream? And next week, I won't be here doing a live stream because I have some family business to go to do. But the next week, after next week, <laughs> we are going to look at a super fun game. Again, there's probably going to be a freebie coming your way. This game is active, it's a spinner game, it's a print and play, and your students are going to love it. So I hope you have hit that subscribe button because you're gonna want to have that freebie. So thank you to all of you who came live today. I sure appreciate it. Don, you know I love you. Thanks for coming live. And for those of you who are watching the replay, make sure you make a comment down below. Which of these games are you going to do in your stations? Hmm, maybe all three? All three at once? One, one week? One the next three weeks? Who knows? You let me know down below so I can kind of see where you're at with all that. All right, my name is Angie. And I was in the classroom for 25 years, and I want you to know that the creator of the universe loves you, and I think you're pretty amazing too. I will see you later. Bye-bye.